In this video, we are going to discuss about causality and stability in Laplace transform by examining the poles. So, now see here, the system with transfer function is said to be both causal and stable when all the poles lie in the left half of S plane. So, with negative real parts. So, here we are having condition for stability. If the ROC contains J omega axis, if ROC included J omega axis, definitely we can say system is stable. So, here I will give you combinations how we can uh, get whether the system is stable or causal according to the transfer function given. For example, if they given any transfer function as H of S is equivalent to 1 by S plus 2, 1 by S plus 3, S plus 2 into S plus 3. Here by equating this to 0, the, these are nothing but poles. If you equated these poles to 0, then you are going to get the pole values. So, here for example, according to these poles, if you are poles are minus 2 and minus 3 here. So, here these two poles, if this is S plane, this is called as J omega axis and this is called as real axis. So, where minus 2 and minus 3 are called as real of S is nothing but sigma. So, sigma at minus 2 and sigma at minus 3. So, here according to the conditions you are having, your system is going to be causal and stable. Definitely as you are having all the poles in the left half of S plane, this system is causal system. This system is causal system. But you are having so many conditions. In the ROC, in the ROC of this system, if your conditions are like this, for example, real of S greater than minus 3, real of S greater than minus 2. I am writing the conditions real of S greater than minus 3 and real of S greater than minus 2. This is the condition that means if you got this transfer function from e power minus a t u of t plus e power minus b t u of t like that type of function u of t is included in the function you are having to get this transform then you will get greater than here you know ROC concept. So, in that ROC if real of S greater than minus 3 real of S greater than minus 2 then how you will write your ROC. So, greater than minus 3 greater than minus 3 means not this side greater than minus 3 means so minus 3 and greater that means this side minus 3 to infinity minus 3 and greater means so minus 2 and greater. So, minus 2 and greater means, so minus 2 to infinity. Here common ROC is minus 2 and greater. Minus 3 to minus 2 we are not having common region, only minus 3 greater region is there. From minus 2 to infinity you are having common region of both real parts. Then we can say this is ROC, ROC is real of S greater than minus 2. You can see this ROC. If this is the ROC, if this is the ROC, then you can say your ROC included J omega axis. Then definitely as your poles are in, all your poles are in left half of S plane, then you can say this system is causal as well as as your ROC included J omega axis, then you can say this is stable system. For example, in, in question itself, they will provide you real of S greater than or real of S less than at the side of question. For example, they are saying ROC is real of S, real of S greater than minus 3, less than minus 3. If they are saying real of S less than minus 3, then what will happen? So, for the same transfer function, if the ROC is given like this. For example, if ROC given like real of S greater than minus 2 for the same transfer function, then the system is causal and stable. 
same transfer function is given but they are saying the region of convergence of the transfer function is real of s less than minus 3. You are having two poles minus 2 and minus 3 but your ROC lies in left half of s plane minus 3 to minus infinity. Less than minus 3 means less than minus 3 means minus 4, minus 5, minus 6 up to minus infinity. So, you can observe here nowhere your j omega x is going to touch in your ROC. So, that, that is nothing but your ROC is not having j omega axis. But here your two poles lies in the left half of s plane only. So, you can say this is causal but unstable system. Causal but unstable system. For example, you are having another transfer function h of s is equal to 1 by s plus 1, 1 by s minus 1. Then the ROC is, I am writing for the same transfer function, ROC is greater than minus 1, real of s greater than minus 1. This is ROC, real of s greater than minus 1 is the ROC of this transfer function they are saying. Then what about the causality and stability of this system having this transfer function? Then you just draw, you just draw the S plane, you just indicate the poles. So, how we can indicate the poles? You need to equate these two values to 0, then you are going to get poles. If you equated S plus 1 is equal to 0, then you are getting S is equal to minus 1. So, that is real part of S. So, here you are having minus 1, if you equated with 0, you are getting another pole. So, you are having two poles, one before j omega axis, one after j omega axis. So, definitely you can say this system is not at all causal system. Why? Because, so here one of the pole shifted to right half of s plane. When we can say system is causal, whenever all poles lie in the left half of s plane, then only we can say that system is causal. Otherwise, we can say the system is anti-causal. So, now here they are saying the ROC is real of s greater than minus 1. Greater than minus 1 means like this. So, here as it included j omega axis, the ROC included j omega axis, the system is said to be stable. So, now this is anti-causal, anti-causal but stable. So, like this we, we will examine the causality and stability of the system. For example, if you got same transfer function 1 by s plus 1, 1 by s minus 1, but the ROC is like this, ROC is real of s greater than 1, real of s greater than 1. This is your ROC for example, then what will happen? So, here you are having same poles minus 1 and 1, but the ROC is greater than 1. So, it is not including j omega axis. So, system is not stable system. So, that is a unstable system and here as you are having one of the fold to the right half of s plane, so system is anti-causal. So, the transfer function with this ROC is said to be that particular system with this transfer function and with this ROC combination, the system is said to be anti-causal, anti-causal and unstable system. So, for example, if you want both causal and stable, then definitely all poles must be in the left half of S plane with negative real axis and ROC must be, must cross j omega axis of the S plane. Like this, we are going to examine the causality and stability in Laplace transform.